Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There are question and answer websites all over the internet, but starting now, you're going to want to start using LockerGnome.net. And the reason why is because the first one of you who attains 100,000 karma points on LockerGnome.net will get this. An unused Optimus Maximus keyboard. And if you don't know what this is, you may want to watch the video reviews that I've done in the past on the Optimus Maximus. Uh, and, you know, you may be interested in it, you may not be. However, I'm pretty confident you'll be interested in what's happening on LockerGnome.net, even if you don't want the keyboard. It's okay. It's a general question and answer website based on open source software. This weekend, I sent an invite out to everybody who was following me on Twitter or Facebook asking if they could help me test it. A few days later, uh, tests, uh, the, the results came back and uh, everyone loved it. So uh, we decided to launch it today, officially. LockerGnome.net. Everything you do there is worth something. You'll generate karma points for asking questions, for answering questions, for flagging questions with a thumbs up or thumbs down. You will generate karma goodwill in the community and the more you use this the more karma you build up the more you can do uh, so you could edit posts uh, to make them clear because a lot of people don't really have a, a firm grasp on the english language that's okay because you could edit the questions uh, and even uh, delete answers uh, but you got to be careful because a you can only do it so much per day and b you don't want to have a bad reputation in this ecosystem because that could get you kicked out and then you wouldn't be uh you know, eligible to get this potentially in the uh, random giveaway, the Optimus Maximus keyboard to one of you, the first one who achieves 100,000 points on LockerGnome.net. So you go there, jump right in. If you don't want to register, you don't have to, but of course then you can't participate, so I don't know why you wouldn't want to register. And then start asking questions, but not just tech questions, okay? You can ask any kind of question, right? It's a question and answer website. Ask whatever questions you want. And then, of course, you'd want to make sure more people saw your questions, so hopefully they're good questions, because bad questions can be deleted. And yes, you know, moderators have been deleting bad questions. You could be a moderator, yeah. You generate karma, you're going along, uh, and uh, suddenly you become a moderator for the entire website. You own what's here, or you certainly have the opportunity to have ownership in this community and, and determine its direction. I have no question in my mind that most of the questions being asked on this website are likely going to be tech related, at least initially. But I've been encouraging questions that aren't tech related. And let's see here what we've got on the, the first page. It says, we've already achieved 508 questions with 2,500 answers. That's awesome. On every page, you can, of course, recommend it uh, to your Facebook friends. That's going to be important, too, because, you know, the, the more traffic you get to your questions, the more answers will be generated, the more karma points you're going to get, the closer you're going to get to 100,000 and then beyond. And once we reach that level, then I'll figure out another great giveaway to do, uh, most likely for geeks. All right. Uh, whoa. This question was just asked, uh, like, before I started the video. Which is better, AMD or Intel? Finally, I will not have to answer the question because the community will. <laughs> Yay! There's the answer to your question. Now, here's another question. Will YouTube ever die? Okay, that's, a, that's an okay question. Do you buy or use Apple Care? Will you buy the new iPhone, wireless Mac monitors? Do you have an iPad? I mean, some of these questions are relatively general. Uh, so if you ask the same question that's already been answered, it's probably going to get deleted or flagged as a duplicate question. So you can't ask the same questions over and over again. It doesn't work that way. And yes, we are monitoring. And of course, you will likely monitor uh, too to make sure that everybody's playing fair in this community of question and answers. Of course, each one of these questions is tagged. Uh, Apple, iPad, in fact, you know how many questions we've had related to Apple so far? Like tons. In fact, more related to Apple than Windows. Like anybody who says that I'm not fair, well, now here's your chance. Uh, you could, you know, even the playing field on LockerGnome.net. Thank you, XL100, if that is your real name. Off to the left of the questions. Of course, we've got uh, specific metrics. How many votes a question has received? Uh, how many answers a question has received? How many views a question has received? Uh, it's a big deal. It's a huge
huge deal. Uh, we've got 108, no, I'm sorry, 810. I transposed the, the numbers there in my mind. Oh, I don't know if Ustream's stopped. Uh, Uncle John says it's fine, so I'm going to keep going here with this particular video. Uh, we can click on any one of these questions. Uh-oh, Apple's WWC predictions. That may be a duplicate question. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, it was duplicate, so we closed one of the questions because we could do that. iPad equals fail. Oh, that ought to be interesting. Uh, there's the question. Uh, and some comments on the question, thumbs up or thumbs down, uh, so you could vote to, to say whether the question was uh, done well or asked, you know, fairly enough. Hopefully it's a, a question with a definitive answer, not just a general answer, because those could get flagged and then closed and then you don't get many points for it. I'm at the, the level of user where I can edit, so if someone's written it poorly, I can actually go in and change things. If I think, oh, okay, it's a good enough question, let's uh, let's let it go because there's some good answers coming out of it. And you can vote for, for answers too. So there's this user, Aaron, and I can click his name to find out more information about him. Uh, this is the person who asked the question. I can see uh, this guy, he's got 258 karma points. I can see the number of badges he's received right there, two badges. And he's also uh, attained, oh, actually it's two plus 13. He's attained 15 badges. You don't know the bad. Ba There's badges too, so you get like these little like rewards for doing things. Up at the top of the screen, if you haven't already navigated, you've got a questions tab, tags tab, users tab, badges, unanswered tab. Uh, you can search for questions, tags, or users. Or there's the ask a question section right there. At the top, of course, I'm administrator, so I can, you know, dive that deep. Or I can click my username, and I will in just a second because I first wanted to show you all the badges available. Uh, basically, you get different badges for things that you do on LockerGnome.net. Uh, like you get the autobiographer badge worth 47 karma points when you complete all your user profile fields, uh, you know, all the way down. Voted 15 times, first rollback, first downvote, first edit, first answer was accepted, blah, 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 blah. Answer voted up four times, question voted up four times, answer voted up eight times, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the more you do, the more badges you're going to get. And the more badges you get, of course, then you're going to look like someone who really knows what they're talking about. Uh, you also can get an idea at this point uh, of what a user really knows or what they care about most on their profile page. Right there, there's me. Real name, yay. It says my activity, uh, the questions that I've asked and how many views and answers and votes they've received. Yeah, I can also favorite the post. These are the 18 answers that I've given, the number of votes I've received, 37 thumbs up, like total and then 22 thumbs up, 15 thumbs down. Oh, my number uh, uh, of tags and which tags that I've used. Uh, and then, of course, I can also dive in deeper with metrics if I can find them. Let me zoom out just a bit. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, my recent activity on the website uh, shows me everything that I've done. You could uh, dive in deeper, too, and see the recent activity for any user. The karma history, the number of votes, favorites. Basically, click anything and everything because it's worth something, right? This is why the number of... Uh, of uh, karma points that uh, I hope uh, to have someone attain here within a short amount of time is so high because you get a, a point for just about everything that you do. Thumbs up, thumbs down, votes, answers, etc. Uh, it's a it's a pretty big deal in, in my humble opinion, and uh, hopefully um, it's going to be something that you're going to like too. I'm going to keep my finger crossed. Uh, fingers, of course I. Can't really keep one finger crossed. And maybe that's a good question. How do you keep one finger crossed? Actually, it's probably a bad question. <clears throat> so there you go. LockerGnome.net. Uh, I would make the question specific because general questions are going to be seen as duplicate questions, flag, deleted, and then you're not going to get any points. Just going to warn you right now. Just going to warn you. You know, everyone's going to keep you in check. Here's your chance. Optimus Maximus keyboard at 100,000 points on LockerGnome.net. Net. See how long it takes for us to get there. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you can find me over there, and I am answering questions and seeding really good, interesting, timely questions. Like if it's related to the news of the day, I'll tweet it out. See, there's there's an idea for you. And if you, if you need some inspiration, what questions should I ask? Well, why don't you look at other question and answer websites? Oh, that's a good question. I'll phrase it on my, my own terms and then post it because you don't want to plagiarize. You don't want to take somebody else's idea exactly and copy it over. That's not a good idea. So, hopefully you're you're ready to go. Hopefully you're ready answering questions. I have no doubt about it. In fact, if I hit refresh, oh, 529 questions. Oh, I hit a new tab. Hit refresh. 500 and how many questions at this point in time? 530. One was asked there in the time that I refreshed. It's kind of exciting to check it out. Email notifications and everything. And it's going to improve over time, by the way. We're taking feedback. 
because since the, the platform is open source, it's going to continue to evolve. <clears throat> Gotta like that. Play along. Why not? Ask questions. Give answers. Read questions. Get answers. It's a freaking Optimus Maximus keyboard! And I only have one to give away. Yes, and of course the community at geeks.perlo.com doesn't have a tool like this. Uh, but that's okay. Anybody's welcome to join. It's a big, big, big community. We have help.lockergnome.com, coupons.lockergnome.com, chris.perlo.com. That's where my blog is. Oh, and if you weren't following me on Twitter, twitter.com slash chrisperlo, or Facebook, facebook.com slash chrisperlo, then you didn't find out about the super private beta invite. Semi-private, actually, because I made it public to anybody who wanted to join. You just had to email me at the time. And of course, we also have this chat room right here. It's part of a live video feed. Uh, and people ask questions in the chat room, and then we're basically passing them along, saying, well, you can ask questions, and you're probably going to get answers in the chat room. But if you want to track the questions and possibly get points for the questions, you want to do it on LockerGnome.net. No matter, you are welcome to join us wherever we happen to be. Hopefully, you'll be there as well. But uh, the live video feed is pretty much in one place. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, here at live. Dot .perillo.com. We'll see you later.